Hello everybody, welcome to another live unboxing. Oh boy, aren't you guys excited? This is the reel that I'll be trying out. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I ordered, there's another reel I found that is identical to this, but it has gold on it. It has uh, two different gold spools, a spool just like this, but with gold highlights, and a BFS shallow spool. And it's only like $34. This one was, uh, well, if you remember right, it had that different handle. So, I've got that reel coming. I'm going to switch the parts around. I basically will have two reels for, uh, I don't know, under $100, like 90 bucks. So, some of you guys, and I answer this all the time, but the single lifestyle handles, where do you get them, where do you get them? You have to buy either, you have to cut down your handle or buy a cheap handle, cut it down, which I recommend. Then if you go to sell your reel, you can put the original handle back on it. You can get these handles all over on AliExpress and eBay, anywhere from 8 to 15 25 bucks. Not that expensive. So, we're going to do an unboxing. I mean, it is and it isn't. It all depends on how cool you want your uh, reel to look, right? So let's just tear into this. Now the first thing, this is a actual late bloomer for the square bills. I want to show you guys. It says Banshee. This was a, uh, I can't even remember, don't quote me 100%, but I think this bait was under $2 shipped. This is one of those uh, cheaper AliExpress ones. It's the first, this may be the first bait I've got off AliExpress. Because those, if you guys remember the poppers, those came off eBay, like $8 for six of them. Those hooks are sharp. Has a rattle. Kind of a purple, white on top. Kind of a very clear, see-through, real clear. Water is probably where this will shine, but honestly, I think it'll work almost anywhere where you know, a couple feet visibility, this may work. The hooks, the only bad thing that I've noticed about any of these cheaper baits are uh, rusting. So you, as soon as you use these, you want to like lay them out. You don't want to just throw them back in your tackle box like you would or can some normal baits because there's like no, uh, I don't know, that, that metal just rusts easier than any other metal. But if you're worried about it, you could switch out the hooks because I'm not sure if that, well, that part there could be what rust, but it's kind of like, a, if you guys are familiar with the air, uh, anything with the skirt, how it holds water, and you kind of want to either shake it off, you know, and just go throw them back in your boxes because they'll tend to rust everything out. But that may not be the case with this bait. I have no idea. All right. So, and I do have, when we get done here, I'm going to show you what I had to do with my... Square bill, bo square bill boxes because I was running out of room. So that is a Banshee. I won't really be showing links to all these yet because honestly, they may suck. I may not like them. I may not recommend them. So I hate to just go showing all the different links to all these different square bills and you know where you can get them, how you can get them if they really suck. I at least want to get out on the water and you know if I know they don't completely suck, then I'll give you guys links to them. If you really insist on wanting the link to something, you know, message, comment down below, and I'll try to put a link up there, link you directly to it. Anyway, comment below, and I'll link you directly to it if I can. Uh-oh, here's some more square bills. I was wondering what this was. Now these are some more. All the square bills that are left to come in are from AliExpress because that is the only downside, well not the only, the main downside to ordering something from AliExpress, you need to do it now before you need it because it takes a while for this stuff to get here. That bait, the packaging, doesn't get much cheaper than that. They couldn't even afford any kind of ink. That's just a piece of white cardboard. And this is one of those baits, just has that like cover, you know, the uh, film put over and then it looks like it's uh, sealed with a clear coat. Definitely very noisy. I can just tell it right off the bat. It's, it's definitely one of those real noisy rattling ones. And 
if it holds up, actually looks like it should work. Like I said, though, we'll be doing testing these this season. All right, let's get this done. And what I was trying to say earlier is, that, I'll be honest, I ordered these things so long ago, I'm not even sure exactly what is coming in and when and all that kind of stuff. This is a smaller one for sure. Oh, these are those uh, kind of bluegill. These I just got because I wanted to try them. They were cheap. I had never tried any baits like this. They're not really in our true square bill testing. But I will be testing them out. Have you guys ever used these? I have no idea if they'll even swim right, straight. They may hunt like crazy. I have no idea what these will do. Never tried anything quite like those. They got this... I take it that's for a reason. You can see it in the light. See how it's got that hump? Doesn't look like it's deformed. It looks like it's made that way. Ordered. I think I just got one of those and one in a different style. They have some different baits on AliExpress that I've never really seen. I think this is another one. It's like seal. Mmm, it's fresh. Maybe it's scented. Maybe it's got shad gut scent on it. Smell it. You like the Lake Fork guy. Let's smell our stuff. Let's get out of here. Look at that little bug looking fish thing. This thing actually looks and feels very well made for what I paid for it. It was almost dirt cheap and that looks and feels like a very well made bait. I don't know how well it worked. Kind of reminds me of the Mega Bass lip. But, uh, I like that bait. This one, I don't know if I like or not. That bill, eh, it may be stout, it may not break off. Comment below if you guys have ever seen or used any baits like these. I guess here, let me hold up. There's kind of your standard probably a 1.5 square bill. Them hooks are sharp. So those are just a couple different styles. I wanted to try some different things. I like that one, but I honestly thought it was going to be smaller. I was thinking a smaller bug looking, fish looking bait, but I mean it's small enough for a lot of you guys. Maybe not a true BFS. Alright, let's get to these handles. These are, I'm telling you guys, there's handles in here. Uh, that company right there, they make, uh, well I think they make reels and handles or maybe they just, you know, pay somebody to make them for them and throw their name on them. I'm not sure how how they work that. And I know there's all kinds of stuff, Kawa or however you pronounce it, all over AliExpress. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Right? Get that box out of there. What you guys have been waiting for, let's get down in there. Where you guys can see that. They stuffed them in there, didn't they? I ordered four different styles. I didn't really like the long handles on this, but wow, those grips, are those? Yeah, they maybe they're the same size grips. They look a little bigger. Where's this one at? Let's get them all out of here. Everything's like lemony fresh. Sealed. That is a huge handle. I don't, I know a lot of you guys prefer these 95, 105 millimeter handles. I like, I actually like 80 or 85. I don't really like 90. So let's see, those are actually a little bit, maybe skinnier and a little bit wider. I actually like that, they feel good. The trick now is to see everything I've got so far, I try to get the knobs that will interchange with the Daiwa. They're like the Daiwa, some of them Shimano too. Okay. I know some of you guys are going to want this, that you like the power handle. This is a long handle. I can't remember now how, I don't know. 
I'll have to look and see exactly how long it is, but it's a lot longer than these other ones. I want to say 105 millimeter. Now, I mainly got it just for the knobs to see if I like them better because I thought they looked, which they are, they're a little bit longer and skinnier. Then I ordered this one because I'm going to try. I know you guys think I'm crazy. I'm going to try. You can buy the actual ends and I'm going to try to put them on. I want a smaller handle. I like just the shape, the way that's made, but it's a little longer than I like. I'm going to try to make myself maybe a double, or what I might try to do is leave one long and put one. I always wanted a handle like that, where I got one where I can put a little more power on it, but if I want it real fast, I got a little shorter knob, I can just crank in the line faster. Any of you guys don't know what I'm talking about, everybody, I've had these arguments on forums several times. Now, not when there's a very little difference, but when you're talking 80 millimeter and 110 millimeter. I don't care what anybody says, you can reel a reel in faster with the shorter handle. So let's say if you got a 6.5 to 1, and a, or both reels are say 6.5 to 1, you'll be able to reel in your line faster with the shorter handle. Just like you, it gives you more power to have the longer one, but when you're trying to crank over and over, I don't care how fast you try to turn, as fast as you can turn this handle, and as fast as you can turn, say, an 80 millimeter, this is longer than 80 millimeters, but an 80 millimeter handle, you'll crank the line in faster, like when you're just trying to reel back in and cast back out, like throwing a jig or something. And that's why I like the shorter handles. I use the rod to fight my fish, or try to. I don't try to just crank them in. Now I got this one for the knob. I don't even know if I like the knob, but it just, it looked cool. And so I ordered it. You ever done that? It was like eight bucks. Tell you right off the bat, feels a little cheesy. Ain't gonna lie. Hear that? A little cheesy components going on there. But it was cheap enough. I don't know what I'll do with it. It looks cool. This one feels good. This one feels good. These feel just as as well made as pretty much any handle you'll get. They're stout. They they are not going to break. I don't know about this one. And it feels stout too. This is stout but very cheap. No bearings, probably just bushings. A little bitty small crank. This one I got because uh oh, we have deception. I ordered one of these because it had a cool this was different. I didn't order two of these. This is two of identical same things. The picture I was looking at had like where uh, uh, like two holes. It looked real cool. But anyway, what I'll probably do is single lifestyle one of these, and then like I said, and shorten it though. Like I'll bring and when you're single lifestyling something, if you guys want to do it yourself, I should tell you this real quick. Don't cut the wrong side off. You'll have this guy right here and then you'll cut basically around that cut that part off and use this part for your single lifestyle if you want to do it yourself but so what I'm gonna do is I'll cut that off I'll also cut well first before I cut that off I'll try to get me a Ray studio and I think a couple other places so I'm fairly cheap where you just you know it's got a screw a, a screw here that holds this on and so I'll put it one in there it'll shorten it up even way shorter because I like I like short handles I'm sorry I like it but then on the other one I will actually leave both sides but then I'll shorten one up just to see if I like the idea of that because my thoughts are I know stick with me on this Maybe not on this one, but if you could get this, because this is a fairly short one. But, all right, I'm going to finish up real quick. But say you could get something this long with the ability to move one of them in to have a shorter, you know, so when you're, whether you're just, you know, slow cranking or whatever, but then you want to come in fast, the other one, you know, of course you'd use different knobs, so you could, you wouldn't even have to look down. You could just feel which knob long one and which one was a short one so you can say you have something like this on your 
one to crank in and then have a heavy aluminum one but a small one on the other side so if you guys that are, are worried about balance and all that and don't like the single lifestyle but then that would give you the option of having a power and a more uh, speed retrieve in one handle i like the idea i tried to get with uh, that one uh, there's a company that makes basically the center and then the two oh my fucking god All right, I'm out of here. Also, before I leave, let me know, comment below. I know a lot of you guys hate this single lifestyle thing, and a lot of you guys actually like it. So comment below if you like it or hate it. It doesn't really matter to me which way, because I actually like it. Because, And I was explaining to Charles, when I'm, you know, whether I'm going to cast again or whatever, I tend to stop, like, here. And then as long as you cast, you don't have any issues with this. If you stop it up here and when you cast you, you could engage it but then what that also does is you know i kind of i'm fighting a fish and if i need to reach up and loosen that drag say that's where this i don't know it just i, I feel when i fish with the double handle nowadays it's like i it's too much crap in my way i don't need it once i got used to these i will probably never go back i admit it does look a little different it's not for everybody but i like it all right, get out of here. Go bass and bonsai somewhere else. And I'm not done yet. Oh, my gosh. My videos are always too long. Don't worry. You're not the only ones that think they're too long. I think they're too long. But there are the little baits that are going into the test. The two, I have like five more coming from AliExpress, and I didn't know how big they'd be. These are actually a little, probably too big. As you can see with the, uh, they're a little bigger than what I plan on. I think the other one, I got smaller ones coming. Those were just real cheap, so I got them. Anyway, you can see how I've switched some stuff around. I had to move all of my uh, bigger square bills in here. With I got a couple little swim baits and a couple of the freaks. A couple custom painted by Norm Coulter. But I moved them to that box so I'd have room for all of these guys. All right. Get out of here. Go bass and bonsai somewhere else. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, comment below. Bye.